Hey, so recently, uh, someone asked me in the comments about what accessories I think are great for cameras, uh, specifically the YIM-1, which I have here. And I know a lot of you came here for YIM-1 talks, but I have four must-have accessories that I think work across the board for all different cameras. Uh, these scale up and down, so they work for smaller cameras, they work for larger cameras. And there's always something I think you can learn. I mean, I've been shooting films since 1991, and every day I'm learning something new uh, about photography or about a piece of kit. Okay, so when you buy a camera, if you're, if you're new to photography, um, whenever you buy a camera, you usually get either the body or you get the body with a lens. You can do it either way. Sometimes, if you don't know, you can get the body cheaper without a lens and then get a lens at a discounted price somewhere online. So you don't always have to buy a body lens combo. But in this case, I've got the YIM1 and it comes with this, uh, was it 24 to 80 millimeter zoom lens. Now, the number one accessory that you should be buying whenever you buy a camera or specifically a lens is this. You want to buy yourself a UV filter. as a little ring, piece of uh, glass, and usually you might find this recommended with the camera. If you buy cameras on Amazon and you scroll down to the uh, buyers also bought these items, number one will usually be a UV uh, filter. And uh, in old school, UV filters used to be used to help control the bluish hue you'd get uh, when shooting film. Uh, but these days, since cameras are so advanced, you really don't have to worry about your color calibra calibration blah, 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 anymore. Uh, so they have kind of lost the uses they were invented for, but the number one use of a UV filter is to put it right here, screw it on over your glass, because you want to protect your glass on your lens. You do not want to scratch your lens's glass. You don't want to break your lens's glass. Lenses are expensive, cameras are expensive. UV filters cost six bucks. This is a six dollar-ish item. Uh, screws right to the front on the threading. This is a Tiffin UV filter. And now you won't worry about damaging or touching your lens, which is incredibly important. Um, if you're wondering what size filter to get, the front of your lens should have a number. This one says 49 millimeter. So look at the front of your lens. You'll find a little number in millimeters. This is 49 millimeters. That's the threading size. So you need a 49 millimeter UV filter to put in front of your lens. This is a number one mandatory must buy whenever you buy a new camera or a lens. Always buy the UV filter. Uh, you don't do expensive. Like I said, on Amazon, you can get it for around $6. They're a little more expensive the larger your glass is, diameter wise, uh, but most of you won't have a problem with that. Okay, so my second, to me at least, must have accessory when you're shooting is get a hood. This is a metal hood. And a hood goes around, uh, screws into the same uh, threading as the UV filter does. You see here, they stack. So now I've got my hood on top of my UV filter on top of my lens. Now, hoods are used for a number of reasons, one of which is to control lens flares a lot of the time. You want to keep a shaded area over your lens. Personally, I kind of dig lens flares. This Tesla's went by, I thought it was cool. Anyway. Uh, I dig lens flares, a lot of people don't dig lens flares, but that was the first reason for a hood. But the, my reason for using a hood is because I like to ne not necessarily always have the lens cap on my camera. So now I've got a UV filter protecting the glass, and I've got a hood on here, and now I can just shoot and shoot and just put the camera down, lay it down anywhere, not worry about it, because this, long, this metal hood is going to protect the uh, UV filter from getting hit or scratched. So now I don't have to worry about fumbling with a lens cap or putting my lens cap back on. Now this may not be for everybody, but once I started doing this process of UV filter, metal hood, I just put the lens cap in the closet with the other camera gear, get it back when I need it, but most of the time, I don't worry about it. I love doing this, it's a great way of running and gunning shooting. Uh, I often sometimes forget which pocket the lens cap went into, occasionally you lose a lens cap. Um, funny story guys, when I was uh, learning photography way back when, the 90s, uh, there are several times I used cameras that did not have reflex viewfinders. So, there were times I'd go out and I'd shoot a whole roll of film, and I get back to the darkroom, I start processing it, and I pulled my my legs up, and I'm like, everything's black, and I'm like, I left the lens cap on. No, no, all my work. But these days, you know, you don't have those problems anymore because everything's digital. Digital. You're very lucky to have that world. But yeah, so UV filter. Number one, number two, hood. I like metal hoods, they also make plastic hoods. They have rubber hoods that can collapse, but I like to go with something metal or plastic that will protect this guy when I just lay him down somewhere, pick him up and shoot, shoot, shoot. The other thing I think about sometimes is if you're not gonna put a lens cap on, every so often use a little lens cleaner, get a little spray bottle of lens cleaner and a lens wipe. Here's a pro tip. 
If you're walking around shooting somewhere and you don't have lens cleaner on you, see if there's an optometrist office around. They tend to have bottles of lens cleaner for their glasses. It's like their business card, they're, they branded it, and they will just totally give it to you if you ask. Just say, oh, I've lost my, you know, my, uh, my lens cloth and my spray, and they'll, they'll give you some. So just check every so often that you spray your lens down if you do this method, but I love this method. This is the way to go. Okay, my third must-have uh, accessory is more for cameras of this size, handheld shooters, either fixed lens or interchangeable lens. And that's this, and this is a thumb grip. It is a little metal thumb grip, also on Amazon. Like I said, so far, every item I'm listing off is under $10, usually between six and $8. So this metal thumb grip, what you do is here on the hot shoe, the piece of plastic they sent with the camera, slide that plastic off. And once again, put it with your lens cap, put it somewhere safe, slide it off. And then you can see here, here's where you usually attach a flash. Here's where the hot shoe mount goes, okay? In this area, you take this thumb grip and you just slide it on in like that and they all come with like a little allen key so you tighten the allen key on and now you have a great place that your thumb catches so you can shoot so you have a, you have a really solid grip on this camera right now so it helps so much to have a, a really secure feeling you're holding a camera some of these cameras are small i've got i've got big old meaty man hands and having a thumb grip really helps just to feel confident that i have a, I have a grip on this guy and it'll stay on and then my fourth and final accessory is this. It's a wrist strap. I like silicone, uh, but you can also get like paracord and all sorts of stuff like that. I like silicone uh, because, you know, I love feeling my arm hairs getting ripped out as I carry this thing around. But uh, better to have a wrist strap than drop your camera Coachella or falls in the mud or something stupid happens. You're trying to get some shot out the window of a train or something, you know, you're not gonna lose your camera. So what I just do, you just loop it through and then loop the big end through the, the little line here and then whoop, you're done. Boom. There you go. On your wrist. Now with this and of course the thumb grip on here, you're ready to go. You're not going to drop your camera. You can be anywhere. You can be street shooting. You can be doing uh, more interesting action shooting. And if you get bumped or something happens, you're, you're not going to lose your camera. It's on your wrist. The thumb grip helps your grip. Uh, I also, when I shoot like big DSLR sometimes, I actually have like, like a catcher's mitch version of this uh, wrist band. It kind of goes on and your hand just slips right in. It's really nice. You've never seen those. Take a look online for uh, hand grip for DSLRs or mirrorless cameras. They're really great. They're like, like a little baseball glove for your hand. And uh, so this is my four top accessories. UV filter, plastic or metal hood, up to you. I prefer to match the color of the lens, so I go with black or if it's silver, silver. Thumb grip right here, and some kind of wrist strap to your liking so you don't lose your, your camera. Like the old, the old Wii wrist strap could work if you just wanna buy one. The old Nintendo Wii laying around, just grab the wrist strap off the old Wii controllers. Uh, and that is my go-to list for what to get. You can see here that uh, I've already done this to my, my Fuji, same exact setup. I have a neck strap on the Fuji versus a wrist strap, but same thing, I've got the thumb grip, I've got a metal hood, I've got a UV filter. I can just run, gun, put it down. My last tip for you guys, especially if you're new to photography or new to digital photography, is that when you buy an SD card, okay, try and find one that are class 10. It should be a C with the number 10 inside of it. You want a C10 uh, SD card. And that is, those will read and write a lot faster than other ones. They're not as cheap as most, but they're also not that expensive uh, as others. You don't need a really high gigabyte uh, transfer rate card unless you're shooting uh, more advanced cameras. And if you're shooting that, you're probably not watching this. So when you go buy a new camera, get those four accessories, and when you buy your SD card, make sure it's class 10, C10. Um, it's worth it. It costs just a little more, not a ton more, but then your read write speeds are a lot faster. I hope these four tips were good for you guys. If you enjoyed them, please come back. I'm enjoying doing these videos with you guys. I'm having a great time. Hope you guys have a great summer. Uh, spring is popped up all over. Have a great time, and I will see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.